Hello, I am Paola Kanyalfuri. Coming up, more confusion within the People's National Convention over the disqualification of their presidential candidate. This time, a former chairman aspirant of the party is calling for the immediate resignation of the current chairman, Bernard Mona. But why? We'll tell you the details in today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. Now, the confusion within the People's National Convention over the disqualification of their flag bearer, Dr. Edward Mahama, seems far from over. This is because a former member of parliament and chairman aspirant of the party, David Apasara, is demanding the immediate resignation of the current chairman, Bernard Mona, after the EC disqualified Dr. Edward Mahama from participating in this year's presidential elections. This comes a day after the director of communications for the party, Emmanuel Wilson, also blamed the party's general secretary, Atik Mohammed, over the same issue. In a City News interview, David Apasara said the incompetence of Bernard Mona is what has led to all of this. 97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. With less than 60 days to the December 7 elections, the National Commission for Civic Education has launched a survey report on what will inform the choice of voters in the December 7 elections. The survey, which was conducted among 7,000 respondents across all 275 constituencies in the country, revealed that education, health, employment, agriculture and energy were the top five issues that would determine a voter's choice of a particular candidate. Now presenting the highlights of the report today, Commission Secretary and Head of Research, Gender and Equity Department at the Commission, Tito Voigbolo disclosed that as many as 76.4% of the voters said more jobs should be created, while 45% said they needed a government that could improve the national health insurance scheme. Now, on the second leg of President John Mahama's campaign tour of the Greater Accra region, he visited Shai Osudoku, Ningo Pram Pram and Pong Katamanso, where he paid a courtesy call on the Osudoku Traditional Council. Now, the president resumed the tour yesterday by outdooring three parliamentary candidates in Okaikwe North, Central, and Ablikuma North constituencies, where he used the opportunity to ask for another mandate in the December polls. Meanwhile, the presidential nominee of the opposition New Patriotic Party, Nana Ekufwadi, today met with members of the Association of Ghana Industries to outline his party's plans for the industrial sector. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1024-3. 331 Evening and weekend classes are also available. Thank you for watching today. This has been City News Daily on City TV. I am Paola Kanyo Foy. Goodbye.